What is up YouTube? It's your boy the Min234 and I'm back here at LA Walmart. I'm gonna be heading over sorry just crossing the street real quick heading over to this Walmart at Lawrence and Dufferin. It's close to my neighborhood, to my house. I haven't been to this Walmart in a long time. So we're gonna see what I can find here. Alright guys, see you inside. What is up YouTube? I am back in the Pokemon card section and there's a lot of mess they have here. So much crap everywhere, so I don't know what to pick up, what to find. A lot of things hidden, a lot of things out of place. I got some lost tumble booster packs, kittens, boxes and boxes and boxes, a little mini Charmander thing, pretty cool. And some more boxes everywhere. Everything's all messy as balls. Not sure what to get to be honest, but just looking around, we got this here. It's pretty interesting. Look, let's see. Hmm, some cool stuff. We uh, trainer box, a tin can back there. Yeah, not too sure. But I will say though, I found a few products that people have already tried to stolen, like steal cards from, which I find disrespectful, but what can you do? Alright guys, I'll figure out what I get and I'll let you know later. So guys, this is all I picked up from the first Walmart. Four booster packs of Sun and, Ri Sun and Moon Guardian Rising. I wanna pick up, I'm gonna go to a different Walmart and buy some more because this is actually not enough, to be honest. And plus this Walmart had like a lot of opened up boxes, a lot of stuff that were really expensive too, so I feel uncomfortable buying them. So I'm gonna go to another place. I'll see you guys there. What's up guys, I'm here at Walmart and Thornhill, the second Walmart that I've been to in Thornhill. Uh, I want to apologize. Last week, uh, this video I decided to record is the day after the last Walmart that I went to yesterday because after I went to that Walmart, I purchased all my stuff with my debit card, not with my credit card because my credit card wasn't working. So it started bothering me and I decided to not go to another Walmart and go home and call my credit card company. I got it resolved, so everything's good now. But yeah. This Walmart's pretty nice, first time I'm being here, so let's see what we can find inside, guys. Alrighty, got I made it to the card section. It seems this place has a lot of stuff. Mostly Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. Very, not that much Pokemon. Ooh, what do we find here? Oh, Luxury Ball. Hmm. I might pick this up, but I might not pick it up for this video specifically, only because I actually picked up two quick balls from another store so i think i might just keep it for that video so i'll purchase this for sure but i'm gonna leave it for them for another video so let's see what we have here it seems like somebody opened up a new to ex breakthrough elite trainer box sucks i don't like when people steal we got oh what are these breakthrough blisters oh that's pretty cool yeah, I've been seeing so many of these blisters recently. Old school ones that you haven't seen in a while. Hmm. Tin cans. Mewtwo EX tin that I've opened before. Shiny Gyarados. Leafeon, Glaceon. Zacron tins. Hmm. That's pretty cool though. Two different Pokeballs. They have a great ball there too. Which I've actually never opened for you guys. Well, I have actually, but uh, video got one of the they were one of the videos that got deleted. So I guess I could open this for you guys again. Hmm. But then I have a quick I have a luxury ball there too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I already spent twenty six at the other place. Well, twenty five actually. We don't count tax, so I'm limited to fifteen dollars, technically speaking. But it's not really fun if $15 is all I have, so up it a bit to 20 maybe, but then what else should I get? Hmm. There's a lot of collection boxes, Charizard EX clearance, uh, Mewtwo EX box probably gone clearance, the Mega Power box, ooh, Blastoise GX collection, I've never seen this before. This is new. I think this is new. It's $64. Really? It's new. Huh. I think this just came out. Mm. 
Okay, I might buy that for a separate video, but then I don't know what to get for our video stuff. Hard to decide what to get. $65 is expensive. Is it really $65? It is $65. Ah, six packs, that's $10. Okay, I'll contemplate this. If I can find that GX collection box somewhere else, I might not pick it up here and pick it up there, but... Or I can put the Pokeball back. Ah, uh, but I really want the Pokeball though. And then I'll be spending another $100 again. What should I do? Ah, uh, <laughs> there really so many new stuff. Mmm, not cool. Uh, Alright, I'll figure something else out, guys. And then I'll have you guys see it in a bit, okay? Let's see what else. Well, what, not what else, but what I decide to walk away with today. So this is what I said over guys. I decided I'll be opening up the luxury ball in the front this in the today's Friday life hunting video as well Along with the great ball because the quick balls will be their own separate videos. So yeah Passed on the Blastoise GX again. I checked online and saw that my, uh, my Local card shop has them in stock on the fifth. So I guess Walmart released it really early So yeah for 39s, which is cheaper than 65. So that's what I'm gonna go with guys. What is so, yeah. the YouTube? We're back here in my studio you guys you guys saw from the live hunting Friday adventure hunting video from Walmart I've been up picking up the luxury ball the great ball and four Guardian Rising booster bags that were all actually hidden and misplaced in different places I chose not to pick up the Blastoise GX collection box premium box because I know they'll still be there but I still want to risk the chance of finding it cheaper at my local card shop because at Walmart if you guys saw in the video it was $65 for that but at my local card shop it's only 40 so to about 37 and 39.95 so if I can find it there that'd be much way much better I can save $35 I mean $25 instead of spending you know 65 plus tax so yep so I decided to pick up these guys for you today two tin cans plus four Guardian Rising booster packs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Guardian Rising ones first. Keep the balls on the side for now. They all have the same packs inside, I'm pretty sure. It should be all uh, Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, and I can't remember what the last pack is. I think it might be an X and Y pack. Can't remember exactly. So yeah, let's open them all up. So I got each blister with a different artwork. I don't expect the packs inside them to be the same. Like, you know, have different artworks, all four. What do they do? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, see, like, I already there are two Tapu Koko artworks in the packs. So, that's fine, which is okay. They don't usually mean anything. Or three Tapu Koko artworks. But yeah, we have here our four Guardian Rising booster packs. We'll start with these first, and let's see what we can get. Hoping to pull something awesome. Let's see if that's the case. Ooh. Let's put this aside. Code card. One, two, three, four, one, two. Pack starts off with Rock Rough, Clefairy, Vanillite, Wishy Washy, Gumi, Fire Energy, Hakamo O. Field Blower, Gotarita, Machamp Reverse Rare, ooh that's very nice, and a Heliolisk, regular rare. So put these two to the side, very cool, two rares in that pack is always nice. So that's pretty sick. Okay, next pack, Guardian Risings. So. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, we got Alolan Sandshrew, Murkrow, Cleoptile, Machop, Slowpoke, Metal Energy, Weeping Bell, Multi Switch, Fletchender. Wish Cash Reverse Rare, very nice. And, oh, look at that, guys. A Vickle Vault Rainbow Hyper Rare GX. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. It's in mid condition, whoa. Oh my lord, guys. Whoa, what an amazing pull. Alright, let me grab my sleeve here for this. 
Gotta grab a sleeve to put this inside. Oh my lord, amazing. Whoa, look at that. So far, right off the bat. Oh, amazing, guys. All right, let's move on to this next Guardian Rising pack. Oh, Vicovolt GX Rainbow Rare. Oof. card one two three four one two pack starts off with Clefairy Tentacool Beldum Helioptile Phantom Dark Energy Watch Hog who I haven't seen Watch Hog in a while Weeping Bell Multi Switch Comfy, rare reverse, that's nice. And a whale lord, regular rare. Like the artwork though, pretty cool. So yeah, oh, there's a lot of mess. I'm gonna clear up real quick before I open the last pack of the Guardian Rising. Okay, last pack of the Guardian Rising. Ooh, awesome, amazing pull. That Vicar Volt looks so nice. Oh man, I don't know what to say. Very nice pack. Code card. Awesome. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we got a Celanded, Murkrow, Vanillite, Cast Form, Snow Runt, Lightning Energy, Energy Lotto, Sableye, Marini. Reverse Stuffle and a ooh a Drampa Holofoil. I have pulled this Holofoil before actually. I recognize that pattern. Pretty cool. Very nice. So we got a Holofoil overall. Pretty awesome pulls from this Garden Rising pack. And now let's move on to the tin cans. All right, we're gonna open up both tin cans, starting with the Great Ball first. So let's pull this up. Pull all this down. But yeah, guys, pretty excited. Oof. In a couple weeks, Unified Minds is gonna come out. I'm thinking about just opening up a booster box for Unified Mind, buying every single thing for you guys, and displaying in the video. It'll be so hype. And that, afterwards, I'm gonna be so excited for the next, for the next ten that follows suit, the next set that follows suit, which is gonna be Hidden Fate, Hidden Fates. Oof, giving that chance to get the GX. I know that set's gonna be really hard and popular. Uh, demand after a while because people will kind of want to try and ooh, wow the packs in here are different than what I thought Huh interesting No, because the last time I opened these tin cans I told you guys about they were deleted They were corrupted because the video had a problem. They had me they gave me three different booster packs from that Huh and the pins different too. It's an Alolan Nine tails yeah, You guys can see that from there pretty cool Alright, awesome. So the packs that came with this tin, Steam Siege, Guardian Risings again, and Sun and Moon. Alright, so for most of the newest, we're going to do this then. Huh, because yeah, I remember last time the Great Ball tin that I opened up and the video got deleted. It gave me a Crimson Invasion, Burning in Shadow, and now I remember some sort of X and Y booster pack. Huh, interesting that it won't give me this again this time. Okay, code card. Alright, so we're going to go one, two, three, one, two. Pack starts off with Chimchar, Clauncher, Meowth, Hoppip, Nosepass, Fletchender, Flaffy, Ambipom, Reverse Mantime, which is a un which is a common rare reverse, and a Chandelier Holofoil. Awesome, nice, another Holofoil to add to the camp. Very cool. So put this down here. So put that, and now we're gonna open up the Guardian Rising booster pack. Another one. Good card. One, two, three, one, four, one, two. Pack starts off with Cottony, 
Bellsprout, Gligar, Pat Rat, Snow Runt. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry for that cut, guys. My parents needed me for something, but yeah, that pack I pulled it Water Energy, Whimsicott, Vanillish, Choice Ban, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gligar, Pat Rat, Snow Runt, Reverse. Carvana and Sharpito. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So put these down, put them aside. So, yeah, nothing good from there either. Okay. I gotta really organize all my packs, to be honest. So now we move on to Sun and Moon. Last pack for this tin can. So, yeah. If I can pull a Decidueye Rainbow Rare, oh, that would make my day a lot, to be honest. That card is the one card I would love to have from that set in Rainbow Rare form. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we got Rog and Rolla, Growlithe, Alolan Meowth, Dewpiter, Alolan Jiglet, Psychic Energy, Piyu Kumuku. This is actually a very valuable card to play in today's set. Switch, Hypno. Caterby Reverse and a Crobat Hollow Foil. Awesome. So two Hollow Foils from that tin. That's not bad to be honest. I'll take that any day. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now we move on to our last item to open up in this live thing that we got from the live printing video. And that is the Luxury Ball tin can. I wish there was another one because this one has a dent in it. But I'm still going to put it in display until I find a different one. So yeah, let's open this up. It's gonna be a little bit tough to open. Yeah, that's the ten right there. Although the luxury ball is one of the good-looking balls out there, it's actually also one of the most useless balls in game, to be honest. I don't know why the reason they even came up with a ball like this. Is this really hard to open? That was very tough to open for some reason. Alrighty. Is there no coin? Oh, it did come with a coin. Okay. Again, in a, a Nine Tails coin, actually. I really, really saw it. I don't have to show that to you again. This one came with the same bunch of packs as well. We got Steam Siege, Sun and Moon, Guardian Rising, and Sun and Moon. You know, I'm starting to believe that when they made these Pokeballs, pretty sure that whatever box set they had, they probably put like. Um, the same type of packs inside those balls and sort them out in the same group in the box set. You know what I mean? Like for example, if one box had like Pokeballs, Luxury Balls, and Great Balls in them, all six of those balls would have the same kind of booster packs in them, basically. So yeah, let's open up Steam Siege again. Code card. One, two, three, one, two. Pack starts off with Clauncher, Shellos, Rufflet, Chimchar, Dino, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Dewat, Greedy Dice, Infernape. Ooh, that's a rare reverse. And a Spirit Tomb, regular rare. Okay, so putting this to the side. Probably here with these cards. There we go. Okay, now let's open up the next pack, which is Sun and Moon. Okay. Yeah, and the, I just remember now the Great Ball, I actually opened the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising first before I opened Sun and Moon. Oh, well, it's okay. Whatever. Order shouldn't matter. Awesome sauce. One, two, three, four, one, two... Pack starts off with Rog and Rolla, Growlithe, Alolan Meowth, Dewpiter, Alolan Diglett, Lightning Energy, Wishy Washy, Herdier, Alolan Persian, Arachnid Reverse, and a Gigalith Hollow Foil. So another Hollow Foil, Paul. Not bad. That actually had two rares in it, Paul. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. 
All right, just putting this pack away. Pick up space. Now we're moving on to the very last pack from this video. Last pack magic. Can you come through and pull me another ultra rare? I mean, the Vicar Vault's awesome. Don't get me don't 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 get me don't get me wrong, but I would love to have one more ultra rare pull. Four holo four holo foils are pretty cool too, but come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, we got this. We got this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Pack starts off with Phantom, Liptile, Beldum, Tentacu, Kaferi, Water Energy, Kafebo, Matang, Choice Band. Energy Recycler and a Pangaro Regular Rare. So overall, guys, this is all we pulled from today's hunting video. But still, not gonna lie, can't be mad because you know what? We pulled an amazing pull. So we pulled four Holofoils: Durampa, Chandelier, Probat, Giga Lift, and the best pull of them all, the Vicavolt GX. Full Art Rainbow Rare. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's live adventure hunting video. Okay, peace everyone. Sorry for the cut earlier.